Hey guys, it's Katie, and today's video is going to be a little bit on the serious side, so it's a little bit different from other things um, I've done. Um, we are going to be jumping on the fidget spinner bandwagon, but not really. Everyone else is on the fidget spinner bandwagon. I'm the type of person that it was made for. I've always told people fidget spinners are made for people with different disabilities like ADD, ADHD, and autism, and that I fall under one of those three categories. And when they find out which one I'm under, they get uncomfortable. So pretty much I do have autism. I am on the autism spectrum. I post some notes on Facebook in like the form of blogs sometimes. Um, and I wrote one a few months back and it had a lot of comments and a lot of really great things. So um, I'm just going to kind of read the highlights to you and then I can go a little bit more in depth with it. As well um, so I titled this one my biggest secret because it wasn't something I really wanted anyone to know for a while um, so let's just jump into this one um, I start out by saying anyone who knows me knows that I don't open up very easily I'm fairly quiet so not many people know everything about me. I suppose you could say that's normal, but there was something that I kept from a lot of people. Um, in June 2016, so just a year ago, I was told that I'm on the autism spectrum. In other words, I have high fun functioning autism. For those who don't know what it means to be on the autism spectrum, the organization Autism Speaks says this, Autism, or Autism Spectrum Disorder, refers to a range of conditions characterized by challenges with social skills, repetitive behaviors, speech and nonverbal communication, as well as by unique strengths and differences. We now know that there is not one autism, but many types caused by different combinations of genetic and environmental influences. The term spectrum reflects the wide variation in challenges and strengths possessed by each person with autism. This diagnosis explained so much about me and my past experiences. It explains why I like to be alone sometimes. It's, it explains why I'm very obsessive with my interests. It's why I'm a picky eater. It explains why I can't make or hold the conversation for very long. It's why I sometimes speak in a monotone voice or really loud. But I don't know that I do. It's why I was aggressive in elementary school and it got to a point where it just made people not want to be around me at all. I have to constantly be moving. I don't like change. I never did my homework but when I did I had to do it like really well otherwise it bothered me. So you can see it affects all areas of my life, especially socially and academically. In fact, research even shows that the two are connected more often than not. So pretty much that means people with more friends are more motivated to do well in school, and those with few or no friends typically lack that motivation, which is also a huge part of being autistic. The fact that I've been taking antidepressants since junior high definitely didn't make things easy. The last thing I really said in this post is that I'm not telling people this to pity me or feel bad. I just think everyone deserves an explanation for why I act sometimes and why I treated people the way I did and some, how I do sometimes as well. It's been a struggle. Only having the diagnosis for a year is weird. 
and I'm glad it explains a lot, but I can't help but think how my life would be different if I was diagnosed significantly earlier. Fortunately now, I have surrounded myself with really good friends who accept me for me, which is different. I haven't been able to truly say that I have friends since junior high. I'm so not used to having friends that it's sometimes hard for me to know where the line is of what friends do. If that makes sense? I know. Back to what this was originally supposed to be about. The fidget spinner. So this is my fidget spinner. Got it off Amazon. It's blue. Like I mentioned earlier, part of being on the autism spectrum could mean not being able to sit still. Uh, which is why I have a fidget spinner. Like I said at the beginning of the video, fidget spinners were made for people with disabilities like ADD, ADHD, and autism. So me. Um, so I can't sit still. It's really hard for me to sit still. I always have to be fidgeting. I have spoken to like teachers and heard from teachers and all kinds of adults that just say that they hate fidget spinners. Which, I mean, I sort of get that. But only for the people who don't have an actual need for it. It always upsets me when people say that they don't like fidget spinners because it's everyone else that ruins them for the people like me. So if a teacher says no fidget spinners allowed in class, that's punishing someone who needs it and along with everyone who doesn't. Having a disability is different and the fact that people took something that was supposed to be for us and made it cool just doesn't make sense and it's not fair to us. It's just taking something that's just for us and ruining it for us. I've definitely had people tell me to put my fidget spinner away. I'm like, would you rather me go back and look at my phone every five minutes? Because I can't sit still to either do this all day or go back and check my phone every five minutes, which is um, something like you're definitely not allowed to do when you're at work. PewDiePie and Pointless Blog both brought out fidget spinners and I was like, you're just encouraging all of this insanity. People. People without disabilities using fidget spinners makes uh, make us with with these disabilities look normal, and we're not. We want to say that we're normal, but we're not normal, and we will never be. We don't have disabilities that you could just grow out of. They'll be with us forever because it makes us seem normal. People stop believing that we have these disabilities and we don't need extra help. But we do. We do need extra help. We sometimes may need, may need extensions on homework or special different other accommodations. Like it, it varies per person. But we do need help sometimes. And people without these disabilities usually don't. I should have planned this out more. <sighs> anyway, guys, um. Sorry this is a little different. This is a video I've wanted to make for a while. I don't like when people say they don't like fidget spinners because they know people without disabilities that are using it. And I just need to make it known that there is a purpose for fidget spinners. They were made for people like me to just sit and fidget with so we can focus on one thing. A few weeks ago I had an interview with my boss about becoming a manager and whether or not he knows this, I was playing with my fidget spinner under the table the entire time just so I could focus and talk.
talk in a way that made sense rather than staring off into space every once in a while because I'm getting distracted. In addition, I, I used it at a wedding recently um, because if you haven't been to a wedding, ceremonies can be quite long. I made sure to spin it a little bit slower so it didn't quite so it didn't make quite as much noise, but it was still keeping my hand moving and my fingers moving. If you have any questions about autism or what it's like to have autism or anything related to that, let me know in the comments below and I can maybe answer some of them. Because um, I feel like not enough people are aware that autism is a wide range of different abilities and disabilities and no one's really comfortable with the thought of it. I just want to get the word out that even if it doesn't look like someone has autism because they can speak or they can move and all of these other things, it doesn't mean that they don't have it because they very well could because there's so much more to autism than people think. If you did like this video give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. Bye!